All right, so let's get right into the topic. I want to deal with the topic entitled, Vengeance is not mine. Vengeance is not mine. All right, Romans 12, verse 19, it says this, Beloved, do not avenge yourselves, but rather give place to wrath. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. So, listen carefully to this. The Bible says that you do not try and revenge yourself. Okay? Because vengeance is God's. But listen carefully to what it says. It says, rather give place to wrath. Now, what does that mean? Remember this. God is going to repay every bit of injustice. And His wrath is going to come onto that situation. You might not see it, you might not even understand it, you might not experience it, but God has promised that wrath is going to come onto the situations because of His covenant. God is a righteous God. God loves us, God cares for us. But God is going to make sure that things are done correctly. God is going to make sure that things are done justly. And so this morning I want to challenge each and every believer. Are you prepared to allow God to deal with the things that are going on around you? Are you prepared to allow the Spirit of God to come and to shift and to change your thinking? Shift and to change everything that's happened to you? Because God is looking for men and women to stand up solid and secure in Him and allow him to handle the situations. You see, God will make sure that justice is done. But he says this, vengeance is mine, I'm going to repay, not you. And so saints, I want to challenge each and every believer today. Make sure that you are in line with God's word. Make sure that we practice what God says. When somebody does you wrong, you say, Lord Jesus, I give it to you. I thank you, Lord, that you will take care of this. And that the wrath of God will be seen by you, not by me. All right? Rather, let God deal with this. And it says, if you step out of the way, wrath will not come onto that thing. There will be a judgment put on that thing. And so let's allow God to fight our battles. Now this is very difficult for most Christians because we want righteousness. Fair is fair. But God says, my way of doing it is not your way. So allow me to do it. Pray for your enemies. Do good to them. But God says, He will vindicate you. He will sort them out. He will bring the wrath, not you. So let's pray. Lord, right now, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your word. We thank you that you love us and care for us. And Lord, that on the night that you were betrayed, you took bread and broke it and said, this is my body that was broken for you. Take in remembrance of me. Well, you took the cup and you said, this is my blood that was shed for you. Take in remembrance of me. The body of Christ was broken for our physical and emotional healing. The blood of Christ was shed for our salvation, protection, and provision. And so this morning, when we come around the table... Let us ask God for the supernatural to flow in our lives. Let us ask God to genuinely give up vengeance. Allow the Spirit of God to work in our lives. Knowing that God will bring the wrath. Let's pray. Lord, I ask you right now that you will minister to each one of us, Lord, as we take of the elements today. Lord, that we can stand on your covenant. Thank you, Lord, that you paid the price for us. I ask you please to forgive us of any wrongdoing and Lord to wash us white as snow. But Lord, as we take of the elements right now, that we will see the victory and we will see the power of God moving in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Let's partake together.
Lord, right now in the name of Jesus, we release the Spirit of God over our physical bodies. I thank you, Lord, that you are going to move by your Spirit in our lives. I command every symptom of sickness to leave us in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, that we walk in divine health and divine healing is ours. In the name of Jesus. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. All right, folks, I'm so excited. It's Monday morning. All right, number one, book of Revelation. If you haven't got your book yet, please, I want to encourage you to go and get that book, okay? You get it at DrArthurFrost.com, and it's there for a reason. Help you understand the times and the seasons. Right, number two, Israel. My Israel trip, I've just heard that there's been one or two cancellations on my Israel trip. I've still got some space available. If you want to come with me to Israel, and I know it's a 12-day trip. I know it's expensive. It's 60,000 rand around. But I'll tell you what. This is for the serious scholars. I've loaded it with as much as I can when it comes to actually um, understanding the word, getting into the word, knowing the places, okay? So I want to ask you, if you are serious about um, knowing the word and experiencing the Bible in a new dimension, all right, I want to encourage you to join us. Okay, so we're going to be going to Israel, and so please get ready for that. And... Uh, and so please, if you are interested, go to Believers at Father's Art. Send us an email. We'll send you all of the info. So we've got one or two more spaces available. So please get ready for that. It's going to be an absolute, absolute wonderful experience for you. All right. Then I want to say that it's Monday. Tonight we are busy with our Bible college. And then um, also we're busy with kings and priests. So get ready for that. Okay. So be prepared because this is going to be a wonderful week in Jesus' name. Amen. And then, yes, there's so much stuff happening. I want to let you know that the weekend, I'm going to be in Cape Town area, Bloberg Strand, and uh, what's the place called? Paul. Okay, I'm going to be in those areas on Friday night, Saturday morning. So please get ready and come and join me in those areas as we just spend time together. We encourage you, bold up your faith and get you going to run again. So I'm very excited about what's happening. And then, as I said, Pastor Marianne and, and Charles and Frederick and Abby, they had a wonderful time in Joburg. And so you really are going to get to know the team as we move them across the nation. Okay. I know that Pastor Les is also out. I think he's going to uh, Margate, the South Coast. And so he's going to be out the weekend. But we will uh, put out the ads through the week. But I want you to please to book. All right, come and book your spot. Come and just so that we know for catering purposes, that's the main reason. Okay, so we know how many people in the venue. We can't book a place for 20 and 80 pitch. Okay, so please just help us with that. So you go to fathersart.co.za, book your spot, and we are going to have an awesome time together. All right, so it is tithe week. And so today I'm going to pray over our tithing. We are trusting God for a breakthrough in our finance. I want to say this. Every believer should be tithing. Do not listen to the lie of the devil that says that tithing is not for Christians and not for the New Testament. It is totally ungodly. It is unscriptural. I can prove it over and over in the word. The most simple thing that I, that I can just show you. Tithing came in before the law came in. All right. So the argument they'll say the Old Testament is law. You're not under law. Tithing came in way before that. It came in with Adam and Eve even. Okay, so please do not let somebody like you. God has always had it that he holds something that is his. And that you return it to him and put your trust in him. He will rebuke the devourer on your behalf. Let me tell you something. It is something when God himself rebukes Satan and says don't touch his finance. All right, that is something that we all need. So don't play games with this because the devil wants you poor. Listen to me. So we are going to pray and we're going to trust God. So if you have a tithe, you don't give it to anybody except your local church. That's it. I've got people saying, no, well, I'll help some family need and that. It's unscriptural. If you don't stick to the biblical thing of the word, you're not going to have the blessing of the word. Okay. It goes to your local church. So let's pray. Father, right now, 
In the name of Jesus, we come before you. And Lord, we thank you for our nation. We bless our nation this morning. But Lord, right now, I want to pray over each and every tither in Jesus' name. Father, I pray that as we give, we are going to give in faith. Lord, we release the power and the glory of God over our finance in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that we could tithe today. And Lord, that as we tithe, Lord, that your blessing will rest on our finance. Lord, that you will rebuke the devourer on our behalf. I command every single blessing of the Lord to rest over our finance in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, that we walk in abundance. And Lord, that as we give, we will be able to see the power of God in our lives. And Lord, that you will make our finance work. And Lord, that you will bring more financing, that we will have absolute abundance in the name of Jesus. Father, right now, I pray for our businesses. I pray you bless our businesses in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for supernatural deals, divine connections, supernatural contracts to flow. Father, I thank you for cash flow over our businesses. And Father, I thank you that this week will be a transference of wealth into the Christian's hands in Jesus' name. We speak life over our nation. We speak blessing over our nation. We speak resources over our nation. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Well, saints, I want to bless you this morning and say have a wonderful day. Go out and be obedient wherever you go in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, let's get to our declaration. In Jesus' name, I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. I have preferential treatment, supernatural increase, restoration, increased assets, great victories, recognition, prominence, Petitions granted, policies and rules changed, battles won that I do not have to fight, all because of the blessing and the favor of God in my life. So saints, go out with might, go out with valor, and be a blessing wherever you go in Jesus' name.